In this video, we are going to see how to find minimum and maximum value of a function using derivative. Okay, consider the function f of x. If you want to find minimum and maximum value of this function f of x, I have to find the first derivative that is f prime of x and the second derivative f double prime of x. After that, I need to equate the first derivative f prime of x to 0. When I equate the first derivative f prime of x uh, to 0, say we get two values for x. For example, we get x is equal to a and x is equal to b. These two values of x are called as critical numbers. Now, we have to plug in these two values x is equal to a and x is equal to b into the second derivative that is f double prime of x. For example, when I substitute x is equal to a into the second derivative of the given function f of x that is f double prime of a, say f double prime of a is greater than 0. So, when I substitute x is equal to a into the second derivative, it becomes greater than 0. Then we have to decide the given function f of x is minimum at x is equal to a. Please remember when the double prime of x is greater than 0, that is the second derivative is greater than 0 for this value of x, then we have to decide the given function, original function f of x is minimum at x is equal to a. Now, I am going to plug in the second value x is equal to b into the second derivative, then I get f double prime of b. If f double prime of b is less than 0, then we have to decide f of x is maximum at x is equal to b. So, this is a concept to find minimum and maximum value of a function using derivative. Let us look at an example. Here we have a function f of x equal to negative x square positive 4 x positive 3. Okay, to find the minimum and maximum value of this function, find the first derivative and second derivative. Okay, let us find the first derivative that is f prime of x is equal to negative. The derivative of x square is just 2 x positive. The derivative of this 4 x is just 4 and the derivative of this constant 3 is 0. Okay, now, let us find the second derivative that is f double prime of x is equal to negative 2. So, the derivative of 2 x is just 2 and the derivative of uh, this 4 is 0. Okay, now, we have to equate the first derivative to 0 and solve for x. So, that is f prime of x is equal to 0. Then we have negative 2 x positive 4 is equal to 0. Subtract 4 from both sides to solve for x. So, we get negative 2 x is equal to negative 4, then we divide both sides by negative 2, then negative 2, negative 2 will cancel out x is equal to 2. We have only one uh, value for x when I equate the first derivative to 0. Now, I have to substitute x is equal to 2 into the second derivative. When you look at the second derivative, uh, we have only negative 2 on the right side, we do not find the variable x on the right side. So, whatever value we substitute for x into the second derivative, we will still have only negative 2 on the right side. Anyways, uh, we can substitute uh, 2 for x into the second derivative, then we get f double prime of 2 is equal to negative 2. So, because we do not find x on the right side, uh, we cannot substitute x is equal to 2 on the right side, whatever value we substitute for x here, so we'll, uh, uh, we still have negative 2 on the right side. Anyways, uh, when I substitute x is equal to 2 in the second derivative, its value is less than 0. So, now it is clear um, when x is equal to 2, the second derivative f double prime of x is less than 0. This one tells us clearly when x is equal to 2, the given function f of x is maximum. To get the maximum value, what I need to do is I have to substitute x is equal to 2 into the original function f of x. Okay, let us get the maximum value of the function by substituting x is equal to 2 into f of x. Okay, 
f of 2 is equal to negative 2 square positive 4 times 2 positive 3 is equal to negative 4 positive 8 positive 3 which is equal to negative 4 positive 8 plus 3 will be 11. So, negative 4 plus 11 will be 7. So, the maximum value of the function is 7. Here we may have a question why there is no minimum value for this function? Yes, there is no minimum value because when I equate the first derivative to 0, I get only one value for x. So, in that value the second derivative is less than 0. So, the given function has only maximum value, no minimum value for the given function. Let us justify our answer that is uh, the function as the only maximum value that is 7. Okay, we know that uh, the given function f of x equal to negative x square positive 4 x positive 3 is a quadratic function. So, to justify our answer what we need to do is we have to write this quadratic function in vertex form. The vertex form of a quadratic function is f of x equal to a times x minus h the whole square positive k. Okay, let us write uh, the given quadratic function in vertex form. So, for that we can use uh, the method completing square. Okay, f of x is equal to um, from the first two terms uh, negative x square positive 4 x first we can factor negative 1 because I just want this term has to be positive the first term x square term has to be positive. So, for that uh, I factor negative 1 from the first two terms then I get x square negative 4 x inside the parenthesis plus 3. Okay, f of x is equal to negative 1 times x square negative. I can write this 4 x in terms of uh, multiple of 2. So, that is 2 times x times 2. Okay, now, this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b. So, to complete the algebraic identity a square minus 2 a b plus b square uh, we need 2 square here because instead of b we have 2 here. So, we need 2, two square here to complete the algebraic identity. So, uh, we can add 2 square to adjust this addition of 2 square we can subtract 2 square here. Okay, even if you simplify this one it has to be equal to x square minus 4 x. Okay, now, this is clearly in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square. We know very well that a square minus 2 a b plus b square always equal to a minus b the whole square. In our problem instead of a we have x instead of b we have 2. So, instead of a minus b whole square we we'll have x minus 2 the whole square. So, f of x is equal to minus 1 times for this expression we can write x minus 2 the whole square and for this we can write minus 4 plus 3. Okay, f of x is equal to now we can distribute this negative 1 to x minus 2 the whole square and negative 4 when I do so I get negative 1 times x minus 2 the whole square will be negative of I mean negative 1 times x minus 2 the whole square positive 4 positive 3. Okay, so, f of x is equal to uh, negative 1 times x minus 2 the whole square positive 7. Okay, now, this is in vertex form. So, when you compare this one with f of x equal to a times x minus h the whole square positive k. So, the value what we get for a is uh, okay, let us compare f of x is equal to a times x minus h the whole square positive one second positive k f of x is equal to minus 1 times x minus 2 the whole square positive 7. Okay, when we compare the vert uh, the general uh, I mean the vertex form of a quadratic function and uh, the vertex form of the given quadratic function we get a is equal to negative 1 and h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 7. Since uh, uh, the value of a is negative 1 I mean negative value. So, the given uh, actually usually the uh, graph of a quadratic function any quadratic function will be a parabola. So, this quadratic function will be a open downward parabola because the value of a is negative. So, 
the graph of this function this quadratic function will be open downward parabola. So, for any open downward parabola we will have only the maximum value. So, the maximum value is nothing but we will have the maximum value of the vertex h comma k particularly k is the maximum uh, value of the given quadratic function. So, here we get uh, when we compare the given quadratic function I mean uh, the given quadratic the vertex form of the given quadratic function with f of x is equal to a times x minus is a whole square plus 2 k we get h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 7. So, the vertex h comma k is equal to 2 comma 7. So, the k is equal to 7. So, this is a maximum value of the given quadratic function our answer is justified. So, when we uh, did the same problem uh, using derivative we got the maximum value uh, of the given function is 7. So, here uh, we wrote the given quadratic function in vertex form and uh, we got vertex uh, 2 comma 7 and also we came to know that the parabola is open down. So, for any parabola open down uh, we will have only maximum value and the maximum value will be the y coordinate at the vertex that is k. Let us look at another example here we have a function f of x equal to 2 x cube plus 3 x square minus 36 x plus 1. We have to find the minimum and maximum value of this function. Okay, let us find the first derivative of this function that is 2 times 3 x square plus 3 times uh, 2 x minus 36 times 1 and the derivative of this 1 is 0 because it is a constant. Okay, before we find the second derivative uh, first let us simplify this expression. So, f prime of x is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 x square positive 6 x negative 36. Okay, now, we can find the second derivative that is f double prime of x is equal to 6 times 2 x positive 6 times 1. So, this negative 36 will become 0 it is a constant. So, let us simplify uh, here that is uh, 6 times 2 x is 12 x positive 6. Okay, now, we got the first derivative and second derivative as well. Now, what we need to do is uh, we have to equate the first derivative to 0. Okay, let us equate the first derivative to 0 that is f prime of x is equal to 0 that is 6 x square positive 6 x minus 36 equals to 0. Here the coefficient of x square, the coefficient of x, the constant term everything is a multiple of 6, better you divide both sides of the equation by 6. When I do it, so the numbers will become smaller, uh, so the other process will be easier for me. So, I get uh, x 6, 6 will cancel out here the same and 6 goes into 6 1 times 6 goes into 36 6 times. So, x square positive x negative 6 is equal to 0 divided by 6 is just 0. Okay, now, we have a quadratic equation and we have to solve uh, this quadratic equation. So, we already know that uh, if you solve a quadratic equation we will be getting 2 values for x. Uh, we can solve this quadratic equation by factoring. So, we can take the constant of negative 6 because the coefficient of x square is 1. So, we can take only the constant of negative 6. Now, I have to get 2 factors for negative 6 such so that uh, the sum of those 2 factors is equal to the middle term which is the coefficient of x here positive 1. Okay, so, positive 3 negative 2 when I multiply these 2 values positive 3 and negative 2 I get negative 6 and when I combine them that is when I add them I get positive 1. Okay, now, the 2 to get the 2 values of x of this quadratic equation I have to do a small work here that is I have to change the sign of these 2 factors then I will be getting 2 values for x negative 3 and positive 2 that is it instead of uh, writing the factors equating each factor to 0. In this way, we can get the two values for x uh, easily. So, we just have to change the sign of these two values to get the values of x. Okay, now, what I need to do is I have to plug in uh, these two values x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 2 into the second derivative. Okay, first, we can substitute x is equal to negative 3 into the second derivative. Then, we get f double prime of negative 3 equals to 12 times negative 3 positive 6 f double prime of negative 3 is equal to negative 36 plus 6 f double prime of negative 3 is equal to negative 30 which is less than 0. So, when x is equal to 
negative 3 the second derivative is uh, less than 0. So, it tells us clearly f of x is maximum f of x is maximum when x is equal to negative 3. Okay, now, we can substitute uh, x is equal to 2 the second value into the second, uh, second derivative. So, then we get f double prime of 2 is equal to 12 times 2 positive 6 which is 24 positive 6 we get 30 and also it is greater than 0. So, since f double prime of uh, 2 is greater than 0 uh, the given function f of x is minimum when x is equal to 2. Okay, now, we know that uh, the given function f of x is uh, maximum when x is equal to minus 3 and uh, it is minimum when x is equal to 2. So, to get the maximum value of the given function what I need to do is I have to plug in x is equal to negative 3 uh, into the original function f of x. So, f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3 whole to the third power positive 3 times negative 3 whole square minus 36 times minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so, f of negative 3 is equal to 2 times negative 3 whole to the third power will be negative 27 positive 3 times 9 uh, positive 3 times 36 will be 108 positive 1. So, negative 54 that is 2 times negative 27 positive 3 times 9 is 27 positive 109. So, when we add 108 positive 1 will be 109. So, now f of negative 3 is equal to when you combine all these 3 values we get 82. So, the maximum value of the given function is 82. So, in the same way we can get the minimum value by substituting x is equal to 2 into the given function. So, f of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 cube plus 3 times 2 square negative 36 times 2 positive 1. So, f of 2 is equal to 2 times the value of 2 cube is 8 positive 3 times the value of 2 square is just 4 uh, negative 36 times 2 will be negative 72 positive 1. So, f of 2 is equal to 2 times 8 is 16 positive 3 times 4 is 12 when I combine these 2 values I get negative 71. So, f of 2 is equal to when I combine all these 3 values 16 positive 12 and negative 71 I get negative 43. So, the minimum value of the given function f of x is negative 43.